where am I? I got myself into this residential neighborhood and I don't know how to get out. Let's go this way. I recently came across the scene of a motorcycle accident that had just happened and seeing the aftermath of that wreck had a much deeper, much more profound impact on me than I would expect that sort of thing to have. And I think there's a number of reasons for it, but I, I want to talk about it a little bit because obviously I ride motorcycles and people who watch these videos presumably are interested in motorcycles. So I think it's, you know, wrecking your bike is sort of a relevant topic, especially when it turns out to be someone else's fault as it was in this case. So one of the reasons this is such a profound topic for me is because I consider myself to be a, you know, relatively safe rider compared to a lot of guys out there. I ride fairly defensively the vast majority of the time. And despite that fact, it's, it, it, there's a very good chance that eventually I'm going to wreck anyway, not because of my own incompetence or anything like that, but because someone else does something stupid. And what happened in this case, in the case of the wreck that I came across, was uh, some guy was headed down some road, you know, and you know, minding his own business. And uh, lo and behold, he ran into a Smidzy situation. If you don't know what Smidzy is, it stands for, sorry mate, I didn't see you, which is the uh, textbook response of an automobile driver after they cause a motorcycle collision by doing something like pulling out in front of a motorcycle because they weren't looking. So uh, this car pulls out in front of this guy because the car driver wasn't looking and uh, the speed limit on this road was uh, 45 miles an hour so I assume he was doing somewhere in the 50 miles an hour 50 plus mile an hour range. Speak of the devil. What are you going to do if you're like 20 or 30 yards from a car when it decides that it wants to pull out in front of you? There's nothing you can do. You're just going to slam into the side of it. It's a fine day to visit the farmer's market. Anyway, I showed up pretty much right after the crash had happened. Uh, the driver of the car had pulled over. The, the driver of the motorcycle was lying in the street, writhing in all manner of pain. And uh, luckily, all of its body parts were moving, so I don't think he had any sort of paralyzation to worry about, but God only knows what bones were broken, what kind of internal injuries he had. I mean, I'm certain he was still in awful shape. What is going on here? How many lanes do you need? Oh, he's on his cell phone. I'm not going to fit through there. Oh god, I spent all day yesterday hanging out with Riding with Tom, who's visiting from Australia, another moto vlogger. And, uh, oh man, all you want to do after spending a day hanging out with an Aussie is, you know, try to have an Australian accent. So I've got to really concentrate on not faking an Australian, a bad Australian accent. So anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the motorcyclist is on the ground, he's writhing in pain. People are standing all around him, trying to trying to get him not to move his head because he just looked like he wasn't listening. I mean, maybe he was fine, maybe he wasn't, who knows, everyone was just concerned for him. They were telling him, don't move, don't move, just lay there, wait until the paramedics come, they can check you out. The bike was ripped into God knows how many pieces, the car itself was like, you could tell that the frame was bent, like the, the whole car was like tweaked at the middle from how hard he hit the side of it. So uh, maybe he was going pretty fast, I don't know. I mean, regardless, I don't put the, the fault with him at all. I don't even give him partial fault, fault in that kind of a situation because no matter how fast you're going, no one has the right to just pull out in front of you. You, you just you can't pull out in front of approaching traffic that's not allowed, ever, no matter how fast that traffic is going. Pulling out in front of somebody in a smidzy situation sort of demonstrates one of two things. It has to be one of these two situations. Either you have a callous disregard for human life and safety, or you're completely incompetent as a driver. 
and in both of those cases, your license should be removed and probably you should be put in jail. But I'm sure the lady got off scot-free because when a car clobbers a motorcycle, it's an accident. Yeah, it, it was an accident with quotes on it, but it's an accident that demonstrates gross negligence resulting in life-altering bodily harm. You know, you can't just, you, you can't, well, you can get away with that shit, unfortunately. And that's the point of the video. Motorcyclists have got to watch out for themselves, you know, you have to be careful. So anyway, witnessing this and actually seeing the motorcyclist on the ground in pain had a really deep, you know, a powerful effect on me made me really worried about my own safety riding out there and that doesn't usually happen. I've seen the aftermath of a lot of motorcycle crashes actually. I haven't witnessed a lot of motorcycle crashes actually happening in front of me, but I've seen a lot of aftermaths and they never have this effect on me and I think the reason that is is because, you know, the the body or the injured motorcyclist is already removed from the scene most of the times when I get there. And this time I actually got to see the motorcyclist in pain and it just it really it was an unpleasant experience for me you know I went home after that I had driven my car that day because I had a lot of cargo with me I needed to move so I didn't have my bike but the next day you know I went into the garage looked at my bike and I didn't want to get on it because I still had the image of that guy like rolling on the ground in inconceivable amounts of pain so anyway, I guess my message to the motorcycling community is, I mean, you've, well, you've all heard it a bazillion times before, it doesn't need to be repeated, but because it's on the forefront of my mind and because I witnessed this, this scene and it had a powerful effect on me, uh, I just feel like reiterating that wearing your gear is an awful good idea as often as you can manage, as often as you can stomach. And, you know, just be careful, be alert. It's worth slowing down a little bit here and there, you know, to, to save yourself that kind of horrible, life-altering event. Speaking of which, they do it to each other. Car-on-car -car crime. Bunch of idiots. <laughs>